first, I have roughly jotted down the design on a piece of paper with a pencil. I am doing the base using wood instead of a cardboard to make a better finish and bought a jigsaw. With this, the wood became a slice of butter. This reduced the hole making time a lot lesser. In order to place the CPU ports properly, I have drilled few holes on the ply using a drill machine and then finished the cutting using a utility knife. Then I smoothened the wood surface with a sandpaper. After the cutting process, the ply really became ugly. So to make it look good, I have polished it with spirit and wax. In order to make a laptop, we definitely need a display. This is a 7 inch HD IPS display which has great viewing angle and color saturation. To assemble all the parts, I have used Fevicol synthetic resin adhesive. Then I frame the display with those pre-made pieces. Now come to the backbone of the device, the heart of the system, the Raspberry Pi 3. It has quad-core ARM Cortex 1.2 GHz processor, 1 GB RAM and a Broadcom GPU. It also have 4 USB ports, 1 Ethernet port, 1 HDMI port and 3.5 mm video and audio output port. It also have inbuilt Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in it. Now I am inserting the SD card in which I have installed the OS previously. Now I am testing the system. And as you can see it's working properly. As we are making a laptop, we need an internal power supply. So we are going to use a power bank module which charges the lithium batteries and give a constant 5 volt output. I have removed the USB port from the module because it had no use and reconnected all the necessary wires. Then I have added a power switch with the module. As I don't want to use the power port because in case of a high power operation we need a power supply which gives a high voltage power input. When this port will be necessary, that's why I am directly connecting the power supplies. Now I will assemble all the required parts one by one. This is a wireless rechargeable keyboard with a touchpad. So we need to charge it quite often. In order to eliminate that, I am directly connecting the keyboard with the power module. Now I will arrange the remaining parts one by one. 